Welcome to the pastor's office this morning. I certainly am looking forward to this coming Sunday. I trust that you can join us this Sunday. We're having a drive-in service at Seattle Baptist Church. A service at 930 for last name letters beginning A through L. And then 11 o'clock for last name letters beginning, beginning M through Z. I want to encourage you to come if you can. We have a gift for mothers one day, I mean one week after Mother's Day. And so uh, moms want you to come. And then we have a, a special gift for commemorating our 30 years of anniversary. And I trust that uh, trust that you can come. Bring the family. Uh, we'll drive up here. We have an FM station that you can tune into on your radio dial and listen to the preaching, the singing, and uh, you know, it would just be good to be together on property. And so I trust that you can come. We're praying for God's wisdom and direction in our lives and in our church. And uh, we certainly want to honor Him. And so we have this opportunity to be together. And I think it's important that we at least get together on the same property and, and fellowship together around the Word of God. As for the devotion today, was reading this morning in Joshua chapter 11 and verse 15. I want to read that verse to you and share something quickly. As the Lord commanded Moses, his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. I just think that's a great verse. It just stirs my heart. I think of it is a key in conquering in the Christian life. As you know, Moses was God's faithful servant. He passed on God's directions, if you please, to Joshua. And then Joshua was the, was the captain that led God's people into Canaan. They won victory after victory. Joshua was a conqueror. What a great man he was. And he continued on what Moses had handed down to him. And then he was diligent to leave nothing undone of all that the Lord had commanded Moses. As I look at the verse, I see three things. I see, first of all, I see commands. God commanded Moses. Moses passed it on. Thank God that we have the commands of God's Word. Thank the Lord for His precepts, His promises that, uh, that assure us of God's presence with us and, uh, and power. And so I see commands. Thank God for commands. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. And then we see comrades, Moses and Joshua. They're, they're kind of one of the dynamic duos of the Bible. God used them together in a great way. They were both faithful. They were both fruitful and filled with God's power. We need to surround ourselves with the right kind of comrades it is a key to our conquering in the Christian life. And then the last thing that I, I see is a continuance. Joshua continued what the Lord had told Moses, and Moses had told jo Joshua continued. And, um, you know, as I get older, the more I'm thinking about the continuance, the more I'm thinking about, about finishing the race faithful uh, to the Lord. Now, I'm not ready to exit anytime soon unless the Lord wills. But boy, I do want to finish well. God gives us the keys to conquering in his word. God help us all to be conquerors today for his glory. God bless you. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for Seattle Baptist Church. And dear Lord Jesus, thank you for all that Listen to the devotion today. I ask that you would, Lord, just help us to live for you. Help us to shine forth Jesus Christ in a very dark world. Help us to share the gospel. Lord, just fill us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Help us to be pleasing in your sight today. Help us to be conquerors today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in today. And I, I'll be back tomorrow. I've got a few other things I'd like to share with you. Have a good day.